it's come down, paint's gone off. Is it 100%? No. Nah. But for bear in mind what boat, you know, I get a little bit carried away, you know. I'm not on Parlay or the Vagabond, you know, I'm not on some super uber expensive yacht. I'm on a 50 year old battered old British thing that's it's had a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot of love. Um, so <laughs> I think that looks alright. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30-foot Arista Cat. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. I'm on a Domino's picnic on the boat. Say hi. Hi. Alright, <laughs> oh, these are stuck in now. Um, Me and Kay swapped the marshmallow for tandoori chicken. Super. <laughs> top one there is all filleted in. Uh, I've got to fillet this top, the rest of it here, and do along the bottom there. I've cut the new windows, um, I need to do a lot of prep work, get the, the epoxy primer in, um, get it painted before I fit the new ones in, so I get the maximum of the mess done. But I'm now going to do the rest of the filleting on here, let that go off tonight, tomorrow I'll come down, do some sanding and do some more prep work, hopefully get some of the uh, epoxy primer in. But that's it for now, just get on eat my pizza and do some filleting. Cheers. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day here today, um, but before I can pop the other window out and start putting the, the curtain rails in, I need to um, suffer for my sins yesterday. So where, you know, I was sat here with the girls having a Domino's, so I got it done, I was talking to them, you know, went out had a pint in the bar afterwards. Um, I washed it a little bit, and there's a fair bit of sort of excess epoxy around so now i'm going to suffer for it because i need to sand it all back and get it nice and smooth um my plan of attack is sand all this get it all get this side all done um and as much as it pains me because it's really hot at the minute i've got the hatch not open but i need to grind the glue back to basically to the holes here that was bolting up the um the ceiling panels they come forwards more, but just to be safe, I want to grind back and I want to paint up to them lines. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is look at painting tomorrow. So I'm going to get these rails put in on the window on the other side. Do the, the fillet in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, either later on tonight or probably late on tonight, I'll sand it all down, get it all nice and smooth. So touch wood tomorrow epoxy primer and I'll get all this the frontage here in I'm going to stop on a line in and around here uh, purely because I don't want to sort of do a little bit here little bits I don't want to do bits and pieces I want to do the whole panel along same on the same on the other side whole panel on the front um, which will allow me then to order the paint uh, when I go back to work tomorrow, Monday. Um, I'll get on my CFS website, these guys that I use, CFS, um, really good, next day delivery, great prices. Um, so I'll order some, the right polyurethane top coat from them. Um, and hopefully next week, I'm gonna have a bit of an early knockoff because it's half term. Um, get a slapper a coat or two of paint on, make her look brilliant and nice um, and then I can look at fitting the new windows in. So the windows, I, think, I didn't really cover it yesterday, the windows what I've done is they're exactly the same shape as the old ones. All I've done is gone an inch oversize and it will stick on with the um, Sigflex 2, 
five, four, nine, something like that. UV stuff, I bought it all ages ago, so I've got the proper primers. So I've got a primer to go on the on the boat. I've got a primer to go on the sheet and then the, the, the adhesive itself. So I've not cut any corners. I've bought the correct um, thinners to wipe it all down. You know, everything. So, and I've watched um, Ricky do it on Saying Lady Africa and he done a fantastic job on their windows. I'm pretty much using that as a model. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. What I'm gonna do now, get sanding, um, and then get on the other side, fix these on the other side, top and bottom, um, get that all glued in, epoxied in. Then while that's going off, uh, Sam and the girls are gonna come down, and we're gonna get on with chipping away at the decks. For Sam and the girls, we'll do the deck there. I'll get down the gunnels and the more tricky bits and pieces. Uh, start tacking, getting that cleaned up. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. I, I, I've still got so much tab in, I've still got loads of stuff to do, but one job at a time. And I've always said when the sun's out, I'm going to get them bloody windows done. So I'm on a big push now to get this front edge in a, in a position that I can then stick him in. But that's it for now. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Um, Sam and the kids have been here pretty much all day. Uh, I just put my t shirt back on. Absolutely red as amazing. I'll probably have a element of heat strike or something later. But let's quick show you what I've been up to. So they're in, um, filleted in. So tomorrow I'm gonna come down, run a sander, a sander, I ain't got a sander, a bit of sandpaper over it. I still want to do the other side. I started doing it last time I tuned off and I was so hot, I was sweating like mental. Um, so I packed that in and I'll wait until tomorrow when I take the windows out and do it in sort of air movement. Um, and I'm hoping tomorrow, bar anything going uber wrong, like I said before, is um, epoxy primer, get it all in. So I started standing here, but in here with some beating down, it was earlier. No air movement. Oh, it was it was it was horrible. So that's gonna be a Tamara job. Um, what else have we got to? A bit more excess epoxy in there. That that strip there is just every time I've got excess epoxy, it just goes in to fill that up. So I'm almost there. Then I'll have to start on the other side for somewhere to put my my excess. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at this. The dodger of death. Oh, let me get the keys for lock myself out. So I've been looking at the, the dodger of death. Um, just chiseling out along, trying to free it all up. And taking back the paint. The handrail that snapped. Um, I took the other half off. Just knocked it all through, a bit of thick and epoxy. I poked it all in there nice and deep, but I made a little mound in case it does sink. And I just chiseled out all the layers of crap around all the fittings. Um, so I done a bit of a clean up. Sam was down here having a clean up. Half the fore deck is done. This is the uh, this is the grab rails. You know, it's not something you want to be grabbing. Uh, da -da -da. So half of this now, obviously the huge area, is uh, depainted. Let's go through the rest of this side. And I only start working down that gunnel. I've come across a problem. So I got the main out earlier. Because um, I changed the way the line runs. The summer notice has got a roll of furring. Furring? Furling. Um, so it comes out fine ish to a degree but uh, the way this is set up is all wrong so you'll see there the damage on the housing where it's pulling that way this is pulling wrong because that's sort of the, the weight on this rather than being on the pulley it's pulling on the side 
then it comes to here and here so I need to change the geometry of that a little bit and also the actual roller furling itself when you wind the sail out this wants to keep collecting on itself so rather than feeding down it just wants to keep piling up on itself and it gets caught up and jammed up so I need to have a look at the best best uh, course of action remedy for that I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with this uh, maybe having a bit of a bit of line to give that a bit more play to manoeuvre to go up and down because at the minute that's pretty damn rigid um, don't know but I've got lots to think about, lots to get right. Uh, the fundamentals, like being able to get the sail out, is a, quite a biggie. But I think that's it for the day. Um, I'm going to go home, chill out, hydrate, and then look at some more about thinking, making templates and moulds for the new Dodger. Look forward to tomorrow a bit more hacking and smashing and hopefully getting some paint on uh, have a good one guys cheers well guys it's about six o'clock in the morning now um beautiful blue skies still a bit fresh about 10 degrees uh but i'm gonna exploit this little bit of coolness that rather than yesterday i was sweating my ass off sanding i'll uh, pop these windows out get it all sanded all the prep work I can um, and then I may put a coat on I may let it warm up a little bit and do get some other bits and bits and jobs hey guys that's been what hour hour and a half um, I know paint work is all in the prep um, there's only so much I can do especially with the surface isn't that you know it's not it's not like a, a plastered a wall in a house so i think prep wise i've just wiped it over acetone it's pretty much all i can do for now i've done the best i can with my um abilities and will to spend days and days and days and days doing it so this side and that side is done what i'm going to do now for the first time ever is mix up some two-part epoxy primer and start start slapping it on. Um, I'm, I'm going to mix up when I'm all mixed and ready. I'll get the camera going. What actual us usable footage? Um, I can't promise, but I'll see what I can capture. Uh, if anything's any good, then I'll uh, employ it. Cheers. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I'm still mid job. Do a quick bit of innovation before I go to the other side. So, I'm kind of hoping that this is a uh, sort of self leveling. I'll probably need to just put some thinner in it. It's quite, it's quite a thick old paint. But I'm kind of hoping that's a double edged weapon where A, it will build up the low spots, but it's a bit of a high build. But hopefully it levels out. I see one a few a few runs here and there is no biggie. Um, I can sand them out. But it's really highlighted the uh, the imperfections. Really highlighted. So areas like this, I'll probably have to um, put some fairing over it. Just try and tidy it up a little bit. And I know that when I'm doing the next now, to be a lot more careful on the. You see almost like the grooves that the grinder disc has made. But hey ho, I'm gonna go on the other side, um, paint the other side now. I'm not I'm not gonna film it. And when I'm done I'll come back here and we'll see yeah, we'll see how much it's sagged. Hopefully not too much. Hey guys, so it's still quite early morning, but it's on. This area here I don't know how well the GoPro will pick it up. It's absolutely horrendous for the grooves that have been ground out with my rotary grindy thing. That's going to need a lot of fairing. Uh, the rest of it might need odds and sods, but at the end of the day, this isn't a, a million pound boat. But I still want it to look, want it to look nice. You know, do, do all this effort for it to not look as good as it could. Is a real waste, so but yeah, that waffle in too much. Um, that's that frontage there done. Um, I had a bit of excess left over, and as, as you anyone who's seen my video before know that I hate wastage, um, I can't throw anything away, I've got to use it. Um, if I do have to throw it away, then it, it pains me. But I had a little bit of paint left over, so I've just my first um, locker painted out. Locker, cupboard, galley thing. I don't know. Got a bit of thing in my way. What's that thing called? Cupboard in the galley. And this one, obviously, down here. For those that saw the early videos, is, is polyester top coat that I tried to do areas in. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right for what it is. Um, the drama I had using polyester top coat is when it's on and you, it's patchy like it is a little bit. It's very hard to put anything on top of it. Like the top coat is luxes and tin. It is, it is the top coat. So to have two coats top coat, it's, it's, it's just not doable. Um, hence why I'm going down this, this epoxy route. So top off, it's epoxied up. This side I've been a little bit more stingy. Um, whereas the other side I sort of slapped it on and there's a few runs. So I wanted that sort of nice thick high build. This side was a bit more stingy, it's a bit more patchy. So I think both sides would benefit from two coats. Um, I'm going to check the exact timelines and stuff, but it should be good to go for tonight or tomorrow. I'll probably do tomorrow. Bank holiday Monday tomorrow. It must be a nice day. So I might do the same thing tomorrow. Or perhaps we have to sand it later on tonight. Um, and then come down tomorrow morning and do the final prep again. Get another coat on. But it's on. There's something on there. I can highlight any, you know, there's holes and stuff here that are going to need filling. And there's bits that I can sort of look at later on tonight. Bits I need to sand, bits I need to build, bits I need to get right. Just do the second coat of primer. And then hopefully from there, it'll be uh, somewhere close to somewhere close to the mark for me to apply the top coat. So, all in all, not a bad morning. Now I'm going to go home and uh, 
make some breakfast. She's probably still in bed. Um, yeah, looking good. I'll tune in later. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Um, just done a, a wee bit of fairing. Uh, so I was looking at there. So I've used this West Microlite for ultralight fairing. Um, I'm hoping it sands easily. Sands well. It's very cost effective. Um, yeah, I just hope it sands well because it's my first time using it. I used uh, a spatula and a little stirrer thing for more detailed bits, but most of the the, the reveals around the windows, the reveals, the surrounds. I sort of slap someone. Um, some of it is quite proud, but I'm hoping you know if it's easily sandable. I don't want giving it a bit of graft just to get that that inner surface flush. Um, so even if the, all around the rest of it needs some future work, if I can get around the windows done, I can at least then look at getting the windows put in. So I've fared literally with a, I've just got the spatula and just slapped it on and just flared it all, fared it all the way over. Um, and obviously when it's gone off, I'll, I'll sand it down. And hopefully that will take out a lot of the uh, imperfections. Yeah, it won't, I won't take out all of them. Um, but if it takes out a lot, that's one step closer. So I'm set flat that down. Um, do the next coat of epoxy, get more solid base colour, and then from there, if I need to do it again, I'll do it again and keep going until I'm content before putting the windows in. Hey guys, a uh, quick sign off for the evening. Uh, it's bank holiday tomorrow, so I'll be back down here, stupid o'clock more than likely, to uh, put the next lot of primer on. So I've flatted down. Um, the filler, the fairing, I don't think it's 100% but I won't really tell until I put the the next lot of paint on to see what it looks like. If it's an improvement, you know, happy days. Um, I think anything's going to be an improvement to what it was. So, although you can see the grooves you can't feel it, so I'm hoping with solid white on it, it won't be as bad. Um, around here where I've I fared, where those grooves, where the joins were, obviously I've flattened that all out now. Um, same the other side, and I've done the sort of the, the blank space here, the other side, pretty much same as that. The only thing I haven't done is these top bits up here. I think another coat of paint. That will look a lot better than it does now. Um, but again, tomorrow will tell when I actually apply a second coat. But all in all, not a bad day. Uh, I started doing some epoxy fillets along there. I'll put a strip of wood up top there and started epoxying in. Um, so I'm just start doing stuff like that now. Just get some fillets in, get tabbing, get things done. Um, so the main aim, I've had to get a bed in here. Um, yeah, still loads of glass in, loads of painting, loads of sanding, loads of everything to do. But that's it for the day. Cheers, guys. I'll, uh, I'll tune in in the morning. Cheers. Morning, guys. Back at it again. It's uh, 0620. Um, just come down again, I've done a bit more sanding, I was sanding quite late last night. Um, just realised if you're doing like a 14, 15 hour day, if not more, without doing the maths, um, before you paint, always have another look. Because after going home yesterday, having a sleep, coming back, a um, lot more critical. Obviously last night it was, yeah that'll do, come down this morning, I found a few more sort of runs and bits that weren't too happy with needed flattening down. So I just did another sand, another going over. Um, I'm still not sure about this. I, I can't really feel it. There's a slight ripple in there. But again, I won't tell until I need to get this next coat on in a minute. So now I'm gonna mix up the next coat. I'm not gonna thin it out, like I said I was going to. I'm just gonna do it as it is. Um, Dropping a bit, bit more of a high build again. 
and see how she comes out. So I'm not going to capture doing it, obviously there's only so many clips need to be painting. Um, so I'm going to slap it on, let it go off and then go from there. Probably spend the rest of the day sanding, filling, fairing, living the dream. Hey guys, um, it's a bit better, a more solid colour. Uh, there's still a lot of, zoom in, there's still a lot of bits along the bottom here. So I may do another skim of fairing. Um, I mean, it is a bloody old boat, and it is a, but I don't want to, <laughs> I don't start making excuses. I mean, ultimately, hopefully long haired Jen will come down later, and uh, she can be the, the decider. Let me just show you the other side quickly. So that finish I've got there is a lot better. Um, and then all around the window. Should be alright. I mean, ultimately, that's, that's not the finished product. You know, there's got to be a, a top coat, uh, a two part PU paint to go over that because that's just a primer. But what I've got today. So I'll probably do another skim of something on there. Um, I'll go back to work this afternoon, tonight. Um, yeah, I need Sam to come down and make the decision really. Things like the bits and scrapes in and around the top here, I'm not overly concerned about because there's a lot going on. When you've got a big open space like this, I think I need to spend a bit more time with the fairing, just going over this. If nothing else, just getting that bit right. Uh, but while I'm doing it, I might as well do it properly. And that's it for now. Just close. I'm also going to look at a question for any fellow boat owners or people spending a lot of time on, on, online. Um, so currently, I've got an opening window either side. It's quite nice when it's really hot, just get the windows open, hatches open, door open, to get that air movement. Um, when I come to put perspex or acrylic or whatever it is that's going in there, um, obviously I'm gonna lose this function. I know I could do tinted plastic in these slots, um, but I just don't like, I want it all like this, the wooden surrounds, the, so. What I'm going to do is, I want some sort of little Lumar or any sort of type hatches that open up, or slidey ones, whatever. Um, if anyone knows of anything that would fit onto um, the Perspex the acrylic stuff, you know, I can cut a hole, cut a hole in it, bolt it in, and have a little slide window or flap. And, uh, and let me know in the comments down below, please. Just while I'm on windows, these are the new ones, good to go. So the front windows that are all cut, ready to get, get glued in. But as much as I really want to get them in, um, I don't want to rush. You know, this is a job that I want to do, I want to do it once, I want to do it properly, and I don't want to be it for a long time. I don't want to be visiting it again five years down the line. I want to get it done, dusted to bed. Um, on that note, what I'm going to do now is start having a bit of sand on the front. Um, it's quite hard at the minute because I've, I've got to tape the windows back in and when we use like duct tape it leaves that gluey residue. Um, but anywhere around that residue, obviously I do, when I come to do the paint I'll do the final clean get rid of that residue. I may even do it today depending on how well I get on with the sanding because it is bloody hot here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop waffling, I'll get on with that, uh, get on with the sanding outside and see if I'll get some epoxy vinyl on or not, we'll see. Cheers. Hey guys, um, I've mentioned it before, I don't think I've ever sh actually shown this, sort of what we're really facing on the outside and on the deck and pretty much holding the outside of this boat. Um, so obviously I've done videos before where you'll hear Sam and the girls bang bang banging while I'm down there. I'm just going to show you 
quickly so I'm just what I'm trying to do now is reveal some of the old paint around the front panel um, so when it's all prepped and painted I'm not going to start hitting the new paint getting the old stuff off so just two seconds and I'll, uh, I'll put a clip up for exactly what I'm doing That's a half of a half done.